Uh, behind me there is uh, Little Fumi Lake. And, um, it's, uh, it's a good habitat for loons. We get uh, at least one nesting pair there every year. It's kind of a nice, nice spot here. There's a high voltage power line running just to the south of it. But it still uh, doesn't seem to bother the wildlife any. Just the eyesore. There's, uh, there's uh, opposite of the lake behind me, there is uh, real marshy and swampy. And it's a great place for frogs and turtles. I like to come here in the spring and listen to those frogs singing. See a few garter snakes and pine snakes, but nothing, uh, nothing poisonous here to worry about. Mostly they just startle you. And then they go on their way. This is pretty. Hear that train off in the distance. Just to the south there is the Verso paper mill. And they're doing some switching there for pulp today, I imagine. If I uh, if I go off this way, uh, that goes to the other parking lot on the east end of the lake, not far. And we're going to skip that today. There's nothing really appealing there. You go underneath that high voltage line and, and the swamp. Our, uh, we have larch here, which are some people call them tamaracks. And they're starting to turn golden. And that's a late... This guy isn't. But this... This right here, this right here is a larch. They're soft. They lose their needles, unlike uh, the spruce and the balsam. So I don't know if these fall into the decidibus category or how they uh, list them, categorize them. But these needles will turn a beautiful yellow and then all fall off. Well, I got a light backpack today. It's my backpack that a friend of mine gave to me, John Lottie. <laughs> he uh, goes to the uh, Native American casino that's about 40 miles east of here. And it's a, uh, I don't know how he, anyway, he got it free or, anyway, so. I think of John when I get my, my backpack on. It's just nice for a day pack. I got my rain gear in there and I got apple and a little uh, trangia, some water bottles. So it's just nice for a day pack. So I probably got maybe, you know, at best 15 pounds. Doing good with it. It's kind of a test here for me. Oh man, oh man. Well, I promised there's that little log cabin. Now I'll tell you, I could easily move in there. Maybe a little wood stove, and I'd be the caretaker of Fumi. Dang it all. Make hot chocolate for the skiers in the winter, you know? It's open, and uh, I don't know if there's enough light in here for anyone to see what's inside this thing, but recently rechinked it and uh, put in new rafters and a roof. Oh yeah, can still see up here in the corner where the old stove pipe was. This is it, this is all I'd need. Man, oh man, 
Talk about living good. You keep the help them. Put their hot tubs in. Exercise equipment. Just give me a log cabin in the woods next to a lake. Oh man. Just the right size, you know. Look at that beauty. Hearing geese going over again. Nobody's sitting down though, they're traveling. Well, I know a lot of you out there would, uh, would join me in this style of cabin living in a minute. Still like the tent though. You know, the tent is very special because, you know, with my ears I hear stuff better in the tent. Coyotes and owls at night. If you get in a cabin and you got, well, it's warm, it's comfortable, it's high and dry, and what you don't hear as good blocks the sound unless you open a window. I hope you can hear those geese. Yeah, they're not stopping in. They're moving on. Yeah, I don't know what the acreage is here, but uh, from one end to the other has got to be close to, both lakes got to be close to three miles, and then the width, it's got to be close to two miles. So it's a, it's a lot of land really, and network of all this type of road you see here, you know. We've had a good apple year here, and I gotta save a little energy for, I'm the peeler, and my wife and I are gonna make our last batch of applesauce. We ran out of jars. So she made, she made grape jelly. There's a, a couple abandoned lots close to my home, and um, someone had, Planted grapevines years ago, and uh, must be for making wine, I would think. But makes excellent jelly, and so we put up that. I gotta get in here a little bit. I can show you this up here. I don't know. Let's see, we'll drop it. Everything. Beautiful. Beautiful mushrooms over there. Yeah, I like to stop looking at all that stuff. Hard to pass it up. Oh, I can see that old cabin sitting over there in the woods. Clean as clean as clean can be inside there too, which is really nice here. And uh, people respecting that. They bring like uh, classrooms here and uh, Boy Scout troops, Girl Scout troops for little outings, and um, it's a nice thing. You know? it's a whole log cap. There's uh, the old concrete building there. That's uh, that's part of the old uh, intakes for the water filtration plant when that city of Norway got their water here. They welded the door shut. <laughs> Keep the ruffians out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so on we go. Only seen the one jogger this morning. 
gal I knew, she's a runner. And uh, a couple years ago, she was working out at the, the gym I was going to over the winter. I don't like to, I like to get my exercise outside. Just going no place on a treadmill isn't too appealing, but I needed to keep myself in shape to be able to do this, you know? So you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, signing off, heading for coffee. I promised myself that coffee and it's starting to wear on me.